And the bottom left, we have Snake, aka I'm Solid Snake, playing Sedge versus Sedgehound also playing Sedge. Now, interestingly, I haven't actually seen Sedgehound play Sedge as much recently. He's definitely been uh, focusing on learning a bunch of other commanders. You know, it makes a lot of sense because a lot of people will ban Sedge against Sedgehound. But I'm very curious to see how good Snake is at this matchup. Takes the village from the center position as opposed to last game where we saw it be taken from the left. So, definitely setting up to be very aggressive here. Ooh, that's an interesting play. Sedgehound decides to just heal. Doesn't want to uh, lose out to the enemy Sedge in the center. And what do we got? We got a knight over here. We got a knight down here. Both of them doing kind of standard capture routes on this these corners. Not going for this village just yet. What's Snake gonna do? Ignores the hideout. Actually, that's interesting. All right, knight's very aggressive. Big heal up on Sedge. What's Sedge I'm gonna do? This knight's covering the sword, so Sedge can't go in against it. Ooh, big mage heal comes in. And that takes the village. Ooh, and he even gets the capture here and protects the mage by doing so. So that's a big gold investment, but it is a very good tempo win. Because then Sedge doesn't have to worry about healing off of villages. It just gets to do whatever he wants. He captures this village, and Sedgeman's going to have Groove probably next turn because of this village capture. And we're going to see a lot of Sedge Groove, I think, in this game. Has a bunch of knights here, and those are very well protected, but... I think Sedgeman just has just enough. Yeah, like there's no attack from Snake into that. But he has a golem up on this front now, and that's scary for Sedge. Because I actually think Sedge does relatively well against golems. Uh, out of all the commanders. Obviously, you know, like, Sigrid is really good against them. Elodie's probably the strongest against golems, because she takes them for herself. But Sedge able to do, like, that extra damage is really nice. Yeah, builds Groove. And this is only on 35%, so Snake is actually not doing so good on that front. Definitely losing the Groove War. Doing okay on the income front. Like, made inroads over here. Ooh, really heavily injuring the sword, this Sedgehun. Oh, but he just really wanted to kill that mage, and that's actually a really nice win. I don't know if there's going to be... Oh, right. That makes a ton of sense. Eliminates the anti-air, builds a dragon. So kind of almost like classic matchup there. And Snake doesn't have the hideout. So this village over here, like, it's actually a really good play to be able to build a thief and just capture here if your opponent leaves it up. Especially at full health because, you know, the golem's going to take damage doing that. Would have been better using the dog first, actually. So the golem would be on full health. Because that's like... Over a hundred golds worth of damage onto the golem. Alright, what are we seeing? Dragon. Does a hit. Nicely done. Sedge able to get the kill confirm. And this is not in range of the dragon. Oh, wait, no, it is. There's no flagstone here, so... Sedge gonna have to move into cover. So, actually, this is perfect from Sedge. In the center, the witch can no longer hit this enemy dragon. Yeah, that's actually a really good kill. It just finds a free knight. So Sedron being an absolute expert with this uh, use of groove here. And very good on this defensive front over on the right hand side too. Yeah, the... Dragon is just going to get free hits where it can. Interestingly, moves the dragon to the opposite side from Sedge. 
They do combo very well together. Oh. Oh no! That was, I think, meant to be a suicide attempt, but it didn't quite work out. So, instead, we're just seeing Snake dedicate to this and just doing as much damage as they can. Bringing everything along with them. And they're just going to turtle on this front down here. And I do believe that Sedron's going to be able to get a lot of damage on this turn. Seeing a lot of units go down to like, sub 3 health. So this is going to be a big chain of groove. First it goes down. Second it comes down. Gonna see Mage Crit onto the Harpy? Yeah, that's not long for this world. Alright, another sword going down. And, ooh, that witch is in range of the enemy witch. Yep. Sedgen is going to get the big chain. And I think there's actually possibly more things that could go down to low health. Oh, but not in range for Sedge, actually. So Sedge is going to just have to run down here. Go for village capture. Uh, kind of exposed, but... I think he's actually able to survive. That said, this golem is not long for this world. I think this witch is probably going to go down to the mage. It actually even pushes over, over on this right hand side. That This entire army was just sitting there for like two or three turns in a row. And now finally able to push up with the absence of uh, the dragon and Sedge. Time to run. Oh, but Sedge-chan is going to get a lot of damage from this turn. I kind of chew through this army. I'm actually really surprised this mage didn't kill the enemy witch. But you know what is gonna do a lot of killing this turn? It's gonna be oh a dragon plus edge. Oh, I, I actually didn't see that one coming. I thought he was gonna kill these two, but. Yeah, there is a, not going to be much of an army left here. Sedge able to clear so much. And this is the absolute destructive power of Sedge. Is that he is able to just chew through an army like that. You know, a dragon, a dog, a mage, a knight, and a sword. Was able to just kill a ton of stuff over here. And he got so much value. And like... If we look down here at Snake, on turn 13, doesn't have Groove yet at all, so... Uh, definitely in a bit of a losing position, has to drop a Mage Heal while on the aggressive... Oh, gonna be at 95%, okay, so... Snake's eventually gonna have Groove. Working out slowly, but ooh, that's a nice mage hit. Oh, and a nice uh, hit from this dragon. Actually, drag if the dragon had gone there first, Sedge could have captured that, I think. That would have been a nice bit of income. Okay. What do we got? Snake. I mean, they're still in this. They can still pull something out. Kills the... The knight only has one side open over here. They are slowly pushing their way into this uh, enemy stronghold, so they might very well actually be able to kill the stronghold of Sedchan. Really just comes down to, like, is Sedge going to be able to do this? Oh, kills the spear. And Sedge is on full health, so there, there is a dead stronghold. What are we going to see first? Are we going to see... An attempt? No, nah, they didn't get a kill. And Sedge showing why they're still one of the strongest players in the community, and definitely one of the strongest Sedges in the community. Very nice chain of side kill.
the up at the top using his groove. And on the bottom right, does manage to defend uh, at least long enough to dedicate an attack. Because if your opponent starts throwing a bunch of like gold into this barracks and pushes with it, you know, with golems and knights, it can be difficult to defend with you know this army of spears. Like it will get overwhelmed eventually, especially with this edge that has groove. But on this side of things. Uh, when you invest all your gold onto this front, you become poor on this front over here, and the push was very strong. So well played to Sechan.